it smells like. I know what it smells like. Duty. <laughs> Duty. <laughs> My mom and dad. I bet, Claire. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Guys, anyway, oh, I was about to say, anyways, guys, welcome to the second episode of my Walking Dead Season 1 Let's Play. Episode 2, let's go. Ugh, itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're under no offense. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> Fucking we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. It's like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> I bet. Word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl was like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! <laughs> cool! Wow. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Yeah, um, that, uh, duck guy, yeah. He's not, like, fucking smart, is <laughs> he? Jesus. Sounds like a fucking retard. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Mm-hmm. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. Yeah, bruh. Okay, let's talk. Seems like those two are getting along. Okay. Talk. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the 
the city. Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and he just passed people over some. He just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. We don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Doc. Don't you want to get back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Fuck. <laughs> this could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. In these past couple days, at least. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. I guess. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, you know? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Didn't she just tell she was nine? Like, the fuck? Doesn't people go to the first grade when they're six? What's up, retard? How you doing, duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm your foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Lift with your back, Sean! What a dick. Really? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Yeah, bruh. I got it. My yeah. dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes. Damn. Pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Sometimes, it's kill, be kill. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and... Uh, people in I think I just made a noob move. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Let's let's talk to the the boy Herschel. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. What? I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. 
How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? Hmm. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make one. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Well, at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Holy shit. Go! I'll get my gun! What just happened? Walkers? What? That fucking kid. I'm gonna fucking kill him though. Uh, 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 what, what, what? Okay, I'm grabbing him. stitch you up it, it almost it almost got me man it, Lee tried to save me I know son 